Security issues are becoming more regional and global in today's complicated globe, directly affecting national security and endangering the long-term progress of civilization. Interpol serves a special role in assisting global policing initiatives as the only police organization that operates on a worldwide scale. All participants in the global security architecture must be aware of the risks and strive for the same goals to accomplish this globally. Today's video is about Interpol figuring out how to enforce the law in the metaverse. Before we discuss this in detail, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. What is the Interpol Metaverse? The Interpol Metaverse is a virtual world or computer-generated environment where users can interact and engage in activities just like real life. It is a digital space that provides a platform for people to experience a new level of reality, where they can interact with each other share content, and participate in events and activities. With a membership of 195 countries, Interpol is the largest international police organization in the world. Through close collaboration between its member countries and the General Secretariat, Interpol can facilitate the sharing of crucial investigative data. Every member country is home to an Interpol National Central Bureau, which acts as a bridge connecting its national police force to the extensive global network provided by Interpol. Jurgen Stock, the Secretary General of Interpol, has announced that the international police organization is exploring ways to enforce the law in the metaverse. The metaverse is a futuristic idea that envisions individuals being represented by 3D avatars in their virtual lives although this concept has not yet become a reality. Interpol is investigating how it can police criminal activity in such an environment. The Interpol Metaverse aims to create a secure and safe environment for users to interact and engage in activities where the enforcement of laws and regulations is ensured. It is particularly important as the virtual world is becoming more accessible and the potential for criminal activities such as cybercrime, intellectual property theft, and exploitation of minors is rising. What is the main function of Interpol? Interpol also provides technical assistance and support to its member countries in forensic science, training, and capacity building. The organization has a wide range of resources and tools that it makes available to its members to help them in their efforts to fight crime, including its global police communication system, its databases, and its analytical tools. Its mission is to enable police worldwide to work together to make the world safer. It has three core functions to accomplish this mission. Information exchange, operational cooperation, and capacity building. Information exchange. One of Interpol's core functions is exchanging the information between its 190 member countries. Its database contains information on international criminals, fugitives, stolen vehicles, missing persons, and more. This information is shared with law enforcement agencies worldwide, allowing them to identify and locate suspects and recover stolen property. This information is also used to warn other countries when a criminal or fugitive is on the move. In addition, it also works to provide information on emerging trends in transnational crime and terrorism. Law enforcement agencies use this information to better understand the nature of these threats and develop strategies to combat them. Operational Cooperation Interpol's second core function is operational cooperation. It involves working with law enforcement agencies worldwide to help them coordinate their efforts in tackling transnational crime and terrorism. It includes helping to organize joint operations and investigations, providing technical and logistical support, and sharing intelligence and expertise. It also helps to facilitate the extradition of fugitives from one country to another and the return of stolen property. It helps to ensure that criminals can be brought to justice and that victims of crime can get back what is rightfully theirs. Capacity Building Interpol's third core function is capacity building. 
It involves helping to improve the abilities of law enforcement agencies around the world to identify, investigate, and prosecute criminals. It includes training and technical assistance in forensic science, digital evidence, and border security. In addition, Interpol also runs programs to help strengthen international cooperation in law enforcement and improve public safety standards worldwide. It includes providing financial and technical assistance to police forces in developing countries and helping to establish regional networks of law enforcement agencies. Interpol is figuring out how to enforce the law in the metaverse as the virtual world continues to grow in popularity and the potential for criminal activities in the metaverse increases, Interpol is working to find ways to enforce the law in the digital environment. It's particularly important given the cross-border nature of many crimes committed in the metaverse, where the offender may be located in a different country from the victim. Interpol is working with technology companies, law enforcement agencies, and other relevant stakeholders to develop strategies and protocols for enforcing the law in the metaverse. It may involve collaboration on investigations, the development of new tools and technologies, and the sharing of information and best practices. Interpol, the international police organization, is facing a new challenge in the realm of virtual reality and the metaverse. The rapid growth of virtual worlds, where users can interact with each other and create content, has opened up new avenues for criminal activity, such as cybercrime, money laundering, and human trafficking. Interpol is now tasked with figuring out how to enforce the law in this new frontier, which presents unique difficulties and opportunities. One major difficulty in enforcing the law in the metaverse is jurisdiction. In the physical world, law enforcement agencies have clear jurisdiction over crimes that occur within their borders. In virtual reality, however, it can be difficult to determine which country has jurisdiction over a crime that has taken place in a virtual environment. Physical borders do not confine the metaverse, and it's possible for a crime to cross multiple jurisdictional boundaries. It challenges Interpol and other law enforcement agencies, as they must work together to determine which agency has the right to investigate and prosecute a crime. Another challenge is the anonymity of users in the metaverse. Virtual reality environments allow users to create avatars and interact with others without revealing their real-world identities. This anonymity makes it easier for criminals to hide their tracks and evade prosecution. Interpol must find ways to identify and track individuals using virtual environments for criminal activities, despite their attempts to hide their identities. Despite these challenges, there are also opportunities for Interpol to enforce the law in the metaverse. For example, Virtual environments create a vast amount of data that can be analyzed to identify patterns of criminal activity. Interpol can use this data to detect and prevent criminal activities, such as cybercrime, by tracking virtual currency movement and other assets. Additionally, virtual environments can be designed to be more secure than the physical world, allowing Interpol to monitor and control access to certain areas and activities. Another opportunity is the ability to collaborate with private companies and other organizations that operate in the metaverse. These entities have a vested interest in maintaining a safe and secure virtual environment, and they can provide valuable information and resources to Interpol to enforce the law. Interpol can also work with these organizations to create a common set of standards and protocols for detecting and responding to criminal activities in the metaverse. Why is Interpol important in combating crimes around the world? Interpol is important in combating crimes worldwide because it provides a platform for international cooperation and coordination in the fight against cross-border crime. By working together, law enforcement agencies from different countries can pool their resources and expertise, share information, and coordinate their efforts to tackle the most significant criminal threats. It also provides services and resources to its member countries to support their efforts to fight crime, 
It includes training and capacity building, technical assistance, and access to databases and other tools. Furthermore, Interpol's global reach and expertise in cross-border crime means that it is well positioned to tackle the world's most significant criminal threats today. Whether it's terrorism, cybercrime, or human trafficking, it's at the forefront of the fight against these crimes, providing support and assistance to its member countries, and working to make the world a safer place for everyone. One of the main functions of Interpol is to facilitate the exchange of information and intelligence between law enforcement agencies. It includes the sharing of criminal records, fingerprints, and other biometric data, as well as the information on wanted persons and stolen objects. It helps police forces to identify criminals and bring them to justice, regardless of where the crime was committed. Interpol's databases are accessible to all its member countries, providing a vast network of information and resources that can be used to combat crime. Another important role of Interpol is to support its member countries in their efforts to apprehend international fugitives. Through its Red Notice system, it can issue alerts for wanted persons, making it easier for law enforcement agencies to identify and detain individuals who are on the run. This system is particularly useful for locating individuals who have fled across borders to avoid prosecution. Interpol provides operational support to its member countries, including training and technical assistance. This can include providing specialized equipment such as forensic tools, and training in areas such as cybercrime, terrorism, and organized crime. This support helps law enforcement agencies to build their capacity and expertise, enabling them to fight crime more effectively. In recent years, Interpol has played a key role in several high-profile cases, highlighting its importance in combating crime. One example is the capture of the notorious hacker known as Best Buy, who was arrested in Thailand in 2018. Best Buy had been on the run for several years and was wanted in multiple countries for cybercrimes such as identity theft, credit card fraud, and online scams. Interpol issued a red notice for Best Buy, making it possible for Thai authorities to identify and detain him. Another example is the case of the Pink Panther Gang, a group of international jewel thieves who had been active for more than a decade. Through its network of member countries, Interpol collected and shared information on the gang's activities, leading to the arrest of several key members in different countries. This complex, multi-jurisdictional investigation required close cooperation between police forces from different countries. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.